So read the question for me, please. Um, the question is an empty railway track okay, of yes. mass um, 7,200 kg is stationary. Okay, so we've got an empty railway track and it's stationary. Great. All right. A fertilizer foam loads 10,800 kilograms. Okay, so now we have a fertilizer firm, and you know what all they're doing is giving you something to put into the track, and it loads how much again? 10,800, I mean... 800, yes, yes. okay, <laughs> kilograms of fertilizer into the track, great, and then what, did, then what do they tell you? Of the fertilizer into the track. Okay, and then? A, a second identical empty truck is moving at 10 meters per second. Okay, so, all right. And w when it collides with the loaded truck. Okay, so now we have the empty truck, it collides with the, em with the loaded truck, and then what do they say happens? If the empty truck stops completely immediately after the collision. Okay, so it stops, yes. Use a con conservation law of, to calculate the velocity of the loaded truck immediately after the collision. Okay, they want you to use a conservation mm -hmm. law to calculate the final velocity of the loaded truck. Yes. Okay, so now Tabo, what I've done is I've actually drawn a picture. Because yeah. that's the easiest way for me to think about what's happening and then for me to write down what we've got, okay? Okay. So, um, hopefully you can see on your screen, I yes. have my two tracks. My tracks don't look exactly identical, but it's okay. Yes. And on the left, I have my first track, which we said was 7,200. We put in 10,800, mm -hmm. and its initial velocity is zero. And I've called it VI1, okay? Because okay? it's the first track. So, this is my first track. I'm going to call that one. Yes. Then we have our second track which was empty but identical to the first one so its mass is 7200 mm. and it's traveling at 10 meters per second mm. okay mm. now they have to collide so i'm going to assume from my diagram that it's going to the left you could have drawn it on the right it doesn't make a difference okay okay then we have a collision after the collision we've been told that the second track stops so now it's going at zero meters per second you agree with me yes and it's final, and that's VF2, and they want to know what is my final velocity of my first track, yes. okay? Do you know which law they want you to use, which conservation law? Isn't conservation law of linear momentum? Absolutely, the conservation of linear momentum. So this is actually a really nice question because they all work the same, okay? But the first thing, actually, before we do anything, is we need to relook at the first track, okay? okay? Is its mass just 7,200? Um, the first, no. no. It's load. Because I've got loaded, so I need to add, to add the two together, yes. okay? Yes. So the mass of my first truck, I'm actually going to add them together. Do you have a calculator with you? Yes, I do. Okay, add them together for me. What do we get? Uh, we get one, um, 18,000. 18,000. Yes. Okay. I don't really need to show that calculation every anyway, as long as I've written it down, because that's a key, that's very important, okay? Yeah. So now, the first step in conservation of linear momentum, it says to me that the total before equals the total? After. After, now the first step, you have to write that down, is total momentum before anything happens equals my total momentum after, after. okay? That's the equation they're looking for. Now I'm going to put it in symbol form. Yes. Okay. Now this one's not so nice because it's going to get a little complicated because of the f's and the ones and the twos and all of that. But I need you to label all your masses and your for and your velocities. Okay. Yes. So beforehand, before anything happens, I have the mass of my first track times its initial velocity. Okay. Yes. To that, I must add the mass of my second track times its initial velocity. I know that initial velocity is zero. I've still got to show it. Yes. Okay, you're not allowed to just leave it out. Mm -hmm. Okay? Afterwards, it's exactly the same. You agree? Yes. Except now I'm going to use final. You're, you're happy with that? Yes. Okay. I left out one important thing before I started. What must I choose before I do anything? I've got to make a direction positive. Do you agree with me? Yes. yes. What would be logical to make as a positive direction? Um... 
Isn't it um, the second track? Absolutely. Whatever direction the second track's going in, that's going to be my positive direction. Okay, well yes. done. That's really, really important. So, now we need to put in what we know. And these are all big numbers. So, we have 18,000 times, and it was initially going at zero. Write it in, okay? Isn't it supposed to be MU? M1, U1. It used to be U. Oh, used to be. It used to be U. That's the old symbols. Now we use VI. Oh, okay. okay. I think for this year, table they're going to accept a U, okay? Yeah. Um, but we're not 100% sure. Oh, okay. Okay. VI is U. Okay. But good question. I think you're not the only one who was confused there. <laughs> okay. It mean, okay. means initial velocity. Okay. Okay. So, but you're happy with what I've put in? Yes, I'm happy. Okay. Then the second track was 7,200, and it was traveling at 10. Great. Now, my first track, has its mass changed at all? Just my first track? Yeah, after the collision. Did its mass change? Mm, I think it doesn't. No. It does. Okay, so that's fine. That was just a trick question, just making sure. 18,000 still, but now I don't know its final velocity. And also, Tabo, on that question with the U and the V, yes. instead of U, I can't. Instead of using V, we use VF. All right. Final velocity. Okay. Okay. It's just a little thing that they've added in at the moment. Okay. Okay. Now, for my second track, now you you should write this all in one line. I've just written a bit big and run out of space. Okay. I still need to write it in. It's seven thousand two hundred, but its velocity is zero. Mm. Okay. You've actually done all the science. Do you realize that? Yes. <laughs> now it's just a math problem, which is actually great. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to realize the zeros can cancel out. And what is 7,200 times 10? It's um, 72,000. Excellent, 72,000. And that's going to be equal to 18,000 times VF. And what would the value of VF be? What do I need to do on both sides? Divide by 18,000. Excellent. Okay, so quickly do that on your calculator for me. Um, seven divided by 18,000. Mm -hmm. My answer is four. Four. Yes. Great. What, it's un what are its units? Sorry? Units. What is it measured in? It's measured in meters per second. Excellent. I'm calculating a velocity, which is a vector. I need to give a direction. How would I describe this direction? Because it's positive, eh? It's positive, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me its direction in words. Uh, um, oh, I'm confused. Okay. Right at the beginning. Okay, good. Yes. You said the direction of the second track was positive. Yes. If my final answer is positive, that means it's going in the same direction. Same direction, yes. Okay. So... In, and what we'll say there, in the original direction of the second track. Yes. Okay. Because yes. I don't know if that was left or right. Okay. Does it make sense? Yes, it does. Good. Well done, Tabo. Okay. Yes. It's excellent. I hope you're going to call again. Yes, thanks a lot for your Great. Help. Thank you so much. Okay. I look forward to hearing from you again. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Well done. Excellent. It was such a good call. Such a good question. It's so important to remember important things like total momentum before, equals total momentum after. Direction, choose a direction that's positive, okay, and stick to it. And then make sure in your final answer, you have a direction that's positive. And remember, even if something is zero, you need to write it in anyway, okay? You need to put it into the formula and then you can cross it out later. You have to show the substitution though. <laughs>